Hi Libra, welcome to your reading guys. Uh, today is 1st June and I'm making this video um, the last 6 signs because I've already posted for the first 6 signs. Also guys, uh, if you're new to the channel then welcome and if you are already subscribed, I really want to thank you for your patience and for supporting me. I really appreciate it, uh, every one of you. Uh, the card out for you right now is the temperance i'm getting that uh, whatever that you're doing it's requiring some moderation so whatever that you take up try to understand how much you are investing in it uh, if you are investing more than required then kindly pull back because it will uh, it will either drain you or uh, you will feel that uh, your efforts are not being reciprocated or you will resent uh, giving too much later on when other, the other person is not uh, doing as much. I'm also getting that there is some uh, divine guidance coming for you and I'm also getting that um, things are in balance right now and you are uh, in touch with your soul, your spirit. Just do whatever that you are doing in moderation don't uh, overdo it don't overindulge in anything yeah you could also be dealing with a sagittarius person so this reading is not going to be a 10 card celtic cross like i always do this is a past present futures and what you should stop doing what you, sh you should start doing and what you should continue doing reading uh, it's also about your strength weakness and advice it, i will also be looking into your blockages so this is going to be for libra sun moon and rising uh, if uh, you can check your moon and rising in order to know oh, how you feel and how people perceive you. Uh, yeah. So let's see what's past, present and future energy for Libra. Okay, so your past energy is... Eight of Pentacles, your present energy is Four of Cups, your future energy is the Star card. I will also pull what you should stop doing, what you should start doing and what you should continue doing. This is for Libra Sun Moon Rising, June messages. What should they start doing, what should they stop doing, what should they continue doing, three card spread. What is coming up for Libra Sun Moon Rising for June 2018. What should they stop doing? What should they start doing? And what should they continue doing? June messages. Libra sun moon rising. So what you should stop doing is five of cups. What you should start doing is king of wands. Really nice. What you should continue doing is, oh God, five of pentacles. So you are leaving somebody, you keep keep moving on, like, you know, keep moving, like leave it in, in the past. Whatever you are leaving, leave it in the past. Uh, overall energy is two of pentacles. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are their strength, weakness and advice? What is their strength, weakness and advice for the month of June 2018? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Strength, weakness and advice. What are the cards coming in for Libra? Strength, weakness and advice for the month of June 2018. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. Can you believe your strength is uh, the strength card itself? Your weakness is five of pentacles reverse. What is what should what is their advice? Libra Sun Moon Rising. Advice. Okay. Overall energy. Eight of Cups, like I said, whatever you are leaving, you have to leave it. Keep moving. Uh, because Eight of Cups is the overall energy, you are leaving something. 
what is blockages for Libra coming up? Okay, so we'll look into the blockages uh, after I end this reading. So let's begin with your reading now. Libra, uh, your um, past energy is the Eight of Pentacles. So you are focused and invested and putting effort, a lot of effort in something uh, in the past and you had um, literally uh, given it your all you were working day and night uh, in building something that you thought was very natural to you uh, something that uh, kept you going something that uh, was like something you started doing something with a good intention but i feel that you fe felt in a after a while you started feeling uh, what the hell did i create for myself because this is a spider and the web that you are creating here is something that you were not probably aware that it's too complicated. Whatever that you are creating in the past, it was too com complicated. And uh, you are in the center of this web that you have built. So it could be your imagination and it could be your own doing that whatever you are going through is your own doing. You had invested in it. And what's your present is five, uh, four of cups. Currently, you're not liking anything that is being offered to you. Emotionally, you're not satisfied. You feel unfulfilled, bored, bored and um, you feel that you need more. You feel that uh, this is not what I wanted or uh, you feel that um, whatever you were expecting, especially at workplace, if you were expecting a promotion, I feel that uh, you are not getting what you wanted. In fact, uh, I will say that you have two energies as the strength card in this reading, um, Libra. So it, you can also be dealing with a Leo person. This is the strength card coming in the strength position and your overall energy for past, present, future is the strength card. So uh, in your past, you had to be very uh, strong about something. You were overcoming something or you were trying to build something with a lot of strength. Right now in present as well, when you are rejecting something, it is taking a lot of strength from you. Like it requires a lot of grace and effort from your side. Like uh, you might not want to reject it, but you have to reject it is what I'm getting it here. Uh, emotional, emotionally, you are not feeling satisfied definitely. And in future, I'm getting that your wish is going to come true and you have to be uh, courageous uh, with regards to the situation that you are dealing with. Uh, the strength card is telling me here that you have to keep putting effort you have to keep doing what you're doing you have to keep showing up like dress up and show up no matter how how you are feeling uh, you in future i'm also feeling that you're uh, you are healing from something what else is here you are healing from a situation where uh, either you got left behind or you had to leave somebody behind it can also be a money related situation where you are not feeling monetarily very uh, abundant uh, but uh, your there is certain wish that you are making in future that will come true so there is a wish fulfillment or a aquarius person is going to come into your life in future or i am getting that uh, you are very focused on your healing you are doing whatever it takes to rebuild yourself what is what you should stop doing is the five of cups so the message is very very clear that um, you are crying over something that has already been broken uh, but you are not listening to other people who are telling you that listen you have two of cups like you ha still have two cups left so you are not listening to these people because you are very focused on the fact that you have lost something in the past and you're crying over it because you feel that there was a lot of passion and love that you had invested in this or you just felt you guys i feel that some of you even sh gave somebody a flower or like a rose uh, i feel that some of you are still in denial or denial of the fact that you have already um, lost somebody in the past or you there, there is a lot of sorrow and you want to deny it you don't want to listen to it but I'm getting that either by next full moon or this full moon that is that was yesterday, I feel that you will uh, somebody is trying to explain it to you, or you will understand it by your own self that something has come to an end, a full circle. 
now what is uh, what is what you should start doing is king of wands so you should be very bold confident uh, you should sit pretty sit pretty like whatever that you are doing do it with lot of grace lot of boldness lot of passion there are lot of people asking for your attention they are also giving you attention i am also getting that by next new moon you are uh, supporting other people it's not like that you are supporting yourself you are also supporting other people Th these people can be your kids as well i'm getting that uh i'm getting that there is a aura around you which is either protecting you or it is attracting lot of um sorry about the train guys uh there is a aura around you certain sort of aura where people are getting needy around you like they will give you attention but you might not want this attention but you will take uh, take their help or you will i'm saying take their help because i feel some of them are your friends so you will uh, either offer them your help or you will take their help in order to move along or i'm getting that uh, you are starting something new with with a bunch of people and you're moving forward with some idea or plan that you have you already had i'm getting that you are very intuitive as well and you are very focused on your dream and uh, and that is what you should start doing so this card is about what you should start doing so i think you have other people to look after and you need to focus on them what you should continue doing is that if you have left somebody out in the cold or you plan on leaving somebody out or somebody left you out in the cold and you are still waiting for them that's you should something think about it uh what is it about and i feel you are leaving a situation where somebody left you out in the cold you are stepping out of it you are uh, moving ahead you have uh, some like you have some uh some insight on the situation why it happened it can also mean that you are not doing financially well and uh, you are very concerned about your finances so you are thinking about uh, making a move some sort of move you want to escape a situation where you are financially not uh, uh, so uh, so abundant and you are uh, thinking about ways and you are looking up looking things up Uh, how you can escape such a situation now in your strength ka uh, strength uh, position you, we have the strength card so like i said you have lot of strength but that means that you also have lot of obstacle around you lot of uh, testing time around you lot of uh, you will require lot of patience but uh, your weakness is that you don't have patience this is seven of pentacles like this this is the card uh, of seven of pentacles but right now it is reversed so i am getting that uh, you don't have patience and you need lot of strength and patience in order to navigate this situation but uh, you are not patient you are impatient and uh, the advice here is that keep fighting nine of wands keep fighting for it uh, keep fighting for it like keep trying is what what your advice is like keep going on trust your intuition uh there is something that you are not seeing yet but you will soon see that how uh, you can get out of this situation just keep working on what you are working even if it is um some mental exploration or even if it is about your healing keep doing it don't uh don't lo uh, lose faith and don't uh, lose yourself i am also getting that lot of people are dependent on you i think it's your family that is dependent on you uh and you you are holding your heart in your hand and you are like i am so vulnerable right now and uh, the only way i can get out of this is by being bold and by taking action because um, this is the only card where i am feeling that it is requiring you to move forward even though there are le people leeching onto you in a way that they want to stop you or they are distracting you by offering you things that you don't require so don't take things that you don't need uh, don't settle for things that you don't need 
have a very clear vision about what you really want and start investing in it i'm also getting some of you are uh, juggling your uh, either two people or you are um, trying to balance your work and personal life and you are doing it well like i said there is, there was temperance card for you and then two of pentacles so you are doing it well like you are able to balance your work and personal life if that is the case um but uh, your overall energy here is that um eight of cups you have to leave a situation which is not serving you i feel that um uh you are um, sitting there where there is a there is a certain situation where you are just sitting and not moving ahead in a way that you realize that your emotions are not being being fulfilled but you are just sitting there you are like i know i can do so much uh, so much better but i don't know uh, how or i cannot leave this situation because i have invested so much in it these are the thoughts that you are having let me see uh, uh, what are your blockages what are the blockages for libra sun moon rising for the month of june libra sun moon rising for the month of june grief you are grieving something something that you lost something that you lost you are grieving uh, you you <laughs> bottom of the deck is the impatience card like i said you are not being patient about something you need to have patience libra in the month of june have patience confusion lot of confusion and self doubt i am getting like you have lot of self doubt you are telling yourself things which are not true so like listen to what you are speaking to yourself uh, be mindful of what you are talking to yourself about and how you are talking to yourself impasse so there is certain decision that you are not able to make uh, you are delaying this decision and you don't know how to make this decision there is someone around you wearing a facade or you are not seeing your true potential or you are not realizing what you truly truly want um and uh, you are spending lot of time um, not moving like you have lot of excuses when it comes to move from a situation that is that has been holding you back so you keep giving yourself lot of uh, terrible tiny not so important insignificant reasons to stay in a situation which is not serving you and uh, you doubt yourself uh, or there are people around you who are not validating what you are doing or how you are doing it there is also a certain uh, element of grief uh, like you feel that things was thing was like something was so good in the past or you just feel that um, you need peace in your life and you you desperately want that peace and you are crying uh, over something that had, that has already been lost so you have to come to terms with it so libra that was your reading for june i know guys this is a very short and a abrupt sort of a reading but i hope uh, it helped you uh, i was uh, actually planning not to post videos for june but then i decided that i will so i made short videos uh, like the, this so I hope it resonated. In case it did, kindly do drop me a comment. I'll really, really appreciate it. Uh, I read every comment and I reply to each of them. Bye bye. Take care.